morning. It is a Tuesday here for me. It is five o'clock. I'm just in the office getting my morning stuff done. Today we're starting a brand new project. It is, uh, well, it's a whole bunch of stuff. It's a driveway and a garage floor, sidewalk, patio, some steps. And I think we have to overlay some stoops as well. So we're going to be there several days. Today will be day number one. It's cold out today. It's windy. It's not going to be real pleasant, but we need to get to work. I'm going to take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. Lazy. It's time to take the trash out. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Quick trip. You run in the coffee shop, Natalie? Yeah. All right. Hopefully there's house blend. There, there's two of them actually ready to go. All right. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Fine. All right. Have a good day. Thank you. I'm at Home Depot. I got to pick up a couple sauna tubes and a new cordless circular saw. Our Milwaukee circular saw bit the dust last week. At least Home Depot still flies a flag. I respect that. I don't like everything about this store, but that's pretty cool. When you get a chance, could you grab me one of these saws from the cage? Do you know why this saw is so expensive? It is 618 just pulling into the yard. It is 34 degrees and it's very windy today. Looks like, who is this? Is that Mike? I don't know who that is. I don't recognize this truck. Oh, Mike bought a new truck. Mike's here. Yeah, Mike told me he was buying a new truck. And it's a, uh, I think it's a 2000 or 2000, I could be wrong. I'm going to shut up until I know for sure. But I think it's a 7.3 diesel. I think it's an older F350. I can't quite see right now in the dark. Nice truck. Thanks. I like that sound. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, you'll have to take a look underneath. There's a speck of rust on this thing. That's sweet. Yeah. Cool. Eric's here. Boggs is here. Eric's here. Mike's here. Did I see Daryl yet? Daryl's here. Yeah, everybody's here except for Francisco. I'm a little later than usual, but we're doing good for a cold, windy day. Good morning, Eric. You ready? It's very cold and windy today. <laughs> oh, yesterday was the worst, yeah. Morning, bugs. Beautiful. Yeah, lovely. We got one curved step. I think they want it curved. I got some 3 8 inch plywood ready to go here, so that's good. Uh, there's a patio door step. The radius step? I think she wants it curved. Yeah. Hey, cut. I got a haircut finally, yeah. So I'm gonna bring this. And I think we should bring a we should bring a two by eight or two by twelve also because I don't really remember if it's curved or straight. But I remember it was in the conversation. It's like six and a half, seven foot. It's typical. Why don't you give me that? I'll put that away. We only use that once in a while. Six foot bowl float. A good hope. Remember the pizza man? What? Remember the pizza man job? Yeah. His next door neighbor. Right off a of good hole. We need plywood out back? Yeah, we need everything. Okay. I forgot my coat today. I thought it was in the truck. Oh. I know. Not a good day to forget your coat. Even I'm wearing a coat, and I don't get cold very easily. This guy is 100% ready. I can see already his garage is totally cleaned out because we're going to be replacing the floor in there. It's a little early, technically we shouldn't be here yet. It's only 6.45, 
we're not supposed to make any noise noise ordinances in here till seven o'clock but oh well Bought a clear span building. Oh, Ooh, did you? Poop house? Yeah. Oh, really? For that concrete area with the blocks. That'd be cool. I mean, I put the blocks up last year, knowing that yeah, I would do well, that for eventually. The salt and everything. Yeah, for the salt. Because the tarp is such a pain in the butt, man. Yeah. How's it going? Morning. Morning. Yeah. I'm still sucking air, and you? Yep. Same. <laughs> same. Here, any morning you wake up sucking air is a good start. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. So once the other truck gets here and get our equipment and stuff, we'll go over everything again. Yeah. So yeah. I just have a little question on the side, which I think I prepped for. On the back patio, I had a spot. So I wired it in, and when I was looking at what's going to be level, that's going to be right in the way. And I was planning on removing it anyway, but it's disconnected. If you just pull it out, and okay. you just pull your concrete, that'll be fine. All right. We'll just fill in a hole if that's okay. I do it later, or you do it. So this here, we're going to cave this in. Right? Yep. Cave that all in. I'll probably break this concrete into little little chunks and fill some of that in there and then gravel and Oh, that makes sense. Yep. I don't know how big that tank is. It can't be that big. That's a, that's a, probably the one thing that really kinda worries me. Why? Who cares? I, <laughs> it's just a <laughs> just a work. It's I'm not just not a hole. Wh what happened to the tank or whatever. Oh. It's just a hole. I try to be considerate. I I try to plan ahead. I tried to if, things. if we open it up and all this poop starts gooshing out <laughs> all over the lawn. Yeah, yeah. No, I've actually done... 30-year-old poop. 30-year-old poop. Oh, <laughs> more uh, than that. 50-year-old poop. Uh, close. <laughs> if it's all poop, you got gloves? Do I have gloves? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. One time we had to send Daryl down in one. A long time ago. He had a white painter suit on. He was shoveling it out. I thought that was hilarious. Mm -hmm. And this joint here, straight. Yes. Across. Square yep. corner or rounded? Jay. Rounded corners okay. across. Yep. Much and then we're going to fill this right to the house, correct? Yes. All right, we're going to start back here. Oh, yeah, that's obvious. We'll get them steps set up and poured today. All right, we'll get cracking. Should be very easy. <laughs> you ready, Jay? Jade's ready. Can you pull ahead so I can finish plywood? What'd you say? Yeah, it looks great. Watch yourself. You might want to get out of there. Hold up. Unplug that thing. Get that out of here. So this is a septic tank. It's been oh, abandoned. It's tank. been abandoned for 50 years. Can I go down in there? Well, we got to open it up and fill it in. Okay. But he said that the sump pump line uh -huh. was flowing into there for many, many years oh. after it was a septic tank. So, so it should be clean. But, but, but if it's not, you got I, gloves, right? Yeah. yeah. Remember we did that once? I know. Look. I wish I had that picture. I know that was when you were so down cool. getting that poop out of there. All right, we're gonna cave in the septic tank first. And I'm gonna break up this concrete really small and fill it in and put some gravel over it. Here we go. Hopefully, no surprises. down there why did they pour a concrete cap over dirt uh, i'm not sure i'm gonna poke around a little bit more but if that's the case i'm just gonna switch to the beak because all these pieces are small we'll put it in the mac first just go in the middle of the circle like we did next door and park sideways that worked out perfect exactly used to train judo i'll give you ten dollars to take daryl down 
<laughs> All right, that was awesome with the tank. That's nice with that tank. I yeah, thought that was a septic tank. Yeah. I mean, it, I'm sure it used to be something there, but something. not anymore. We're doing the whole job. Everything. Oh, the garage, yeah. So cut, cut the corners. The blocks you shouldn't have to cut. But then the concrete goes all the way through under this. So we need to cut right from the block, like two inches away, a nice straight cut. It's gotta be a straight cut here and then here as well, as far into the step as you can. All right, I'm gonna pop all this concrete out now. Okay, all the concrete's out from the patio area. Bugs is working on the threshold. Mike is grabbing sauna tube so I can auger some holes for the step. I'm gonna start digging this out. Forming it up and grading it. It's going real good so far. Is that all cut in the garage nice? Yep. Done? Yep. Take this out to the road and put the tooth bucket on. Take this off. All right, the guy's got the garage floor cut. We'll start taking this out in just a little while. That looks good. All right, I'm gonna put the dirt in this one from the patio and then we should be ready to set. Barrel's bringing gravel. Mike's bringing some sauna tubes. Right now it's uh, 8 o'clock. So we've been here just over an hour. I would maybe make this 18. Yeah. And then yeah. bow it to whatever, yeah. if it's 23 or whatever. Oh, it's comfortable standing there, man. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be big, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, if we go under 18. No, we don't want to do that. Right, it's going to be smaller where you walk in. All right, so I'll put some 18s and then I'll... Yeah. Sounds good. Mike should be I back in. in yet, but I'll get Mike should be right back in. soon with the sauna tubes. There's not much digging here, just this. Yeah. That's it. holes for the steps in the patio. Get this done real quick. I'm gonna get yelled at again once. No. You gotta unravel them all the way. There you go. No, all the way. 
<laughs> yes, like that. I'm gonna put some pins in, get some heights going here, some strings up so we can start setting. Hi. Where have you been for real? You've been going a long time. The gravel's right up the road. I know. You have to make it uh, asphalt so you got to wait for the, well, the, you know. So you were in line for an hour is what you're saying? <laughs> this one's good to go. Daryl, you gotta make sure it's not sticking in too far though. When you pound it down, see that? See what just happened? What? That the, the board is holding the line like this. So you're pounding it down, but then when you go, see how the line just moved? All right, I'm gonna let these guys set for a little while. I'm gonna start taking the garage floor out. And as soon as they got their forms in, I'll start bringing them gravel and we'll grade. You move that truck and give me some gravel so we can grade the patio. Yeah. It doesn't appear there's any reinforcement in the garage floor at all, which is good for me. Should be easy to come out. Every time I step out of the Bobcat for two seconds, Daryl's in there. I'm bringing gravel right now. Yeah, Stop putting so much pressure on me, man. We just finished grading, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the concrete out of the side here and uh, get the guys setting forms along the side, and then I'll start taking out the garage floor. Ready? Yeah. Quite the contraptions here, Bugs. I think it'll work, man. man. I got a nice tie little... wire. Well, I got it. I wanted to get down the it brakes looks, on it. It looks I good. Cut. It looks good. What? Like it? Like the shape? Yeah, that should be good. good. She can step out and oh, have plenty of room. room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And there, there's she's... 18 inches on the corner, which is more than, a, yeah. more than comfortable. I got concrete coming for the step in a little while, but we're going to keep going with this for now, the removal.
Lost it. We're pouring this? We're pouring just a step right now. And in the morning we'll pour up to here. And then in the afternoon we'll pour the sidewalk and the garage floor, hopefully. And then Thursday. We got the driveway? We got the driveway too, yeah. It is a big job. I told you it was a big job. We're not playing around, Eric. Wait till you see the job next week. Way bigger than this. Way, way bigger. Grab a pencil, a level, and a chalk line. Man, it's gnarly out here. You got a pencil? Got a pencil. Chalk line? Sidewalks all dug out. I'm gonna start working on this garage floor now again. I don't know if you guys like, you guys like to pick a hat. Yes. Thank you. Be my guest. Thank you. Thank you. Look at my color. This is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we had an expo there, so. I think Mike would like this one. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Racing. That's ready to set. You guys can go set that. I'm gonna start working on the uh, garage floor, I guess. Move my truck, then? Let me put this dirt in there quick. Okay. All right. There's an old saying: you want people to listen to you, you must first learn to listen. Yeah. And that's what I'm doing. I know. You're the best, Daryl. Huh? You're the best. Don't let bugs tell you otherwise. So you have, you have another brother, Daryl, too? Yeah. <laughs> no, he has a son, Daryl Jr. <laughs> <laughs> These blocks are all loose here. So we got to be really careful in here. They're already loose. I don't want to make them worse. You can help it. They're, on top of the together, huh? They're just mortared together. I mean, you can just move them real easy. The take away, the boss do that. Huh? I know you watch. Oh. Why do you make the boss do that? Uh, I need one and a half yards. Huge. Very huge. I make it a seven bag and put two percent in there. NCA. And four inch on the slump. Concrete's order. All we're pouring is a step, but we got to get that thing out of the way. things you can do while I'm working on the garage and there's nothing else to do you can get all the steel wire mesh in the patio and uh, get it cut for the sidewalk don't tie it together in the sidewalk because I got to bury down spots in the morning so we can just lift it out and I can bury it put it back get all the wire you can put the felt oh, nice. drill the rods I got to break the garage floor it's gonna take a while so I got to go slow The duels. Oh really? Yeah. That's your excuse? Because <laughs> the manager at Old Country Buffet called me. They said that, that the truck was in the parking lot. <laughs> I'm just hungry. saying. I'm hungry. just saying. <laughs> a rock in between the tires, man. That's a good yeah. one. I like that. Yeah. You have to write that down because I don't think you've ever used that <laughs> one yet. <laughs> nice, Mike. No problem. You, you got to be really creative to think outside of Daryl's playbook. I know.
Huh? What? Concrete's here? Yes, sir. It's early. We like that. Concrete's here. Why don't you just take this out of here and dump it? All right. Yeah. I don't want anything. No they got me, Bugs got me a diet. I'm good. All right, concrete's here. So we'll go pour that step and then I'll keep taking the garage floor out. Seven bag with two percent. Okay. As much as I can put in it. What's going on, Madison? Good. It's getting chilly out. It's too early for this. I know. So the step is under control. We gotta get the concrete truck out of the way so I can keep taking the garage floor out now. All right, we're gonna keep getting this concrete out. Some of you probably wonder why I did it this way. Break around the edge like that. Normally you don't see me do that, but these cinder blocks that are on the edge, they're really fragile. They're moving really easily. So we basically had to do this to preserve the integrity of the block. I really don't feel like breaking a bunch of block, having to pull them out, replace them. It's faster just to do it this way than to mess around with the blocks. And then obviously when you start breaking blocks, customers get really, really nervous that you're breaking their foundation and all that. So yeah, this is more time consuming, but it's better in this situation. Right, Eric? Yes, sir. That's headaches for us. Are you guys fighting? Come on. It's an easy day today. Every day. Exactly, every day. Replica. Replica Carhartt. Replica Carhartt. He got the strangler. He got the stranglers on. Man. I'm going to record it. Why are you using that end of the pick, man? I know. Huh? You're using the wrong end of the pick for that. Thank you. There you go. Look at how better that works. <laughs> it works really good. I know. That's why he tells you to switch. Come on, man. Come on, man.
blows out and then it blows in. So. That looks cool. That looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> looks like the house is on fire. That's hey, what it looks like, yeah. a fire department. All right, I'm just setting the heights here, checking it with the garage door, making sure it's all gonna look good. Somebody bring a chalk line. Barely touching the line, so when we strike this, we're gonna have to go like this way or something, because it has almost no pitch. This is gonna have to get struck off with like absolute precision. Then so maybe I should be on this side. Oh yeah. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> it's literally just barely, barely anything at all. Jack at the back of the car. Good idea. <laughs> there, I'll go move the wheelbarrow that's by the gravel pile. Eric Tomich. Do what? Eric Tomich? <laughs> Are you trying to get the inheritance, Eric? Mm. <laughs> I see him, he's hiding. Daryl's teaching him his moves, look. <laughs> Man. Daryl's wearing off on Mike now. All right, we're gonna start grading the garage floor. We don't have a ton of gravel, but we're gonna use up what we got. I gotta go, I got a meeting. Yeah. So take concrete out, fill these two trucks up, and then- Oh, you want the concrete out? He said no. Who said no? I didn't say no. Who's the boss? Eric. He <laughs> I didn't say no, it's just because I got Tom no, in my I said, I said <laughs> Yeah, take the concrete out. Take it out. You got two empty trucks, yeah, and it's early, take the concrete out. It's only, it's only 1.30. Yeah, take the concrete out. After it's compact, you guys can put the mesh in, drill the rods, and uh, you know, put all the tools and stuff in the garage. You leave stuff in the garage. I gotta go on meeting with my website guy. All right. How's your website? All right. Adios. Is that for the new website? Yes. Oh, is that the one guy from? There's two new websites. I gotta go. Okay. So you guys are just gonna remove con. He's gonna remove concrete, fill up both trucks. We can empty them in the morning. We don't unless you have time. Okay. Doesn't really matter. Uh, and then just get everything cleaned up. Leave the tools in the garage, and that's it. Bugs, I gotta go. See ya. All right. We're done with the garage floor. They're just gonna take the con. Daryl's gonna take concrete out. Can leave tools in the garage, and that's it. I'll see you in the morning. All right. Looks good. Thank you. Better than the last one. Yeah, that's for sure. So tomorrow morning, we'll pour all this. Just up to the corner here. I gotta get downspout material. Bear these two downspouts, and then we'll pour this in the garage floor at 12 along with continuing to set up the driveway so everything went good today there really wasn't any issues <laughs> 